gloves on, level the bike, and get the alarm off. Start the bike. Ah, right. It's Tuesday night. It's six o'clock. What the hell is RB doing on his bike at six o'clock at night? Is he taking it home? Believe it or not, guys, RB is off to one of the bike meets. First bike meet of the year. And we are off to Loughton. Makes a change to be out at night. And believe it or not, I don't need my sat now, but I know where I'm going. So, got a bike meet on at the Harvester, which means grub, beer, <laughs> hey! Got a full packet of cigarettes. I am ready for a beer. I've got me, still got me overalls on, but I've got my bike jacket over the top. So, clear visor. Can't work with the Iridium one tonight, because it's gonna be probably about nine o'clock by the time I get home. Mrs B knows that I'm out, and she has messaged and said, enjoy, have fun. I'm going to go on bingo, yep. And uh, a little message from Jamie, from Jamie's uh, biking adventures. And Jamie said, oh, cheers, I'll be, I got me stick, I got me, uh, me coasters through. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. And he's had some stickers and uh, a little coaster that says, uh, I don't snore, I, d I dream I'm a motorcycle. So, if you want any coasters, drop me a... Drop me a text, I'm doing loads of different bike coasters at the moment. And I am doing them, believe it or not, for just four quid. Someone said, you want to stick your prices up? I'm not into ripping people off. As long as I cover my costs and cover my time used, I don't mind doing them at four quid a pop. So, we are going to go and follow Lerner, who's going the long way round the roundabout. Come on. And we're heading literally a couple of miles up the road to a place called Loughton to the harvester. Now, Pilly Partner's already there. She has messaged and said, all the boys are here. They're here already. They're all waiting for you. And there's probably going to be around about 60 of us tonight for the first bike meet of the year. But I'm looking forward to it. I need a beer. I need a fag. And it's the first time I've been on Big Enterprise for a couple of weeks, and I had the Tiger out a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, makes a change to actually be out on the GTR. Now, my Givy plate is here. It's finally here. I ordered it in November. I've been going on about putting the top box on the bike since November. I've had to order a custom-made, specially designed Givy rack to fit the monolock because they don't make them for the GTR and the ones they do just bolt straight on the top and it's plastic. This is pure CNC milled aluminium and it bolts so I basically take my plate off that I've got on the back that's become standard with the GTR. I take it off, four allen bolts and bolt the new one on and drop my givey straight on. It is that easy but that's uh, the original Trekker plate that Givy sent me was the wrong one. They actually sent me the one for the ZZR 1400 and it doesn't fit. GTR has a straight rack at the back, not a curved rack. But there was a company, Givy went, oh, we've got a company in China that makes them and then they send them to us, all milled, we put all the Givy bits on, yeah, 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 whatever. So, new top box goes on soon. I've got all my moto camping bags. I've been ordering little bags off of Timu to uh, obviously pack everything into and I've managed to get everything into three bags. This is the bit where I filter, and then I'm gonna, oh, great yellow light. Come down through the box. So yeah, I can fit everything into two side panniers. The rest of my stuff goes into my top box. And then hopefully, on the Givy rack, I've got the little uh, metal rack that goes on top of the Givy, and that will take my tent to strap down on. Guess what? I can get away from the lights quicker than you. There's always one that cuts in at the last minute. 
Should I chuck another filter in? <laughs> I'm in two minds whether to do it. Do you know what? I might just do that. Depends if people decide to move over and get out of my way. Lovely, thank you. And I think the old uh, plods are going to the bike meet as well. We shall find out. Can RB get off the roundabout? And that is the one thing about the Enterprise, and she shifts. I'm not going to overtake on this bit because there is a right turn lane just there and there's a left turn lane just there hatch markings do not cross but I see about five cars and then all of a sudden Enterprise may go to warp you go right. So not long and we're here already. Next roundabout. It didn't take long to get the layout. <laughs> Never does on this. And I see more bikes ahead of me, so I think it's going to be quite a good night. Oh, yeah, I just love the sound when she pulls down. All the fun of a Delkovic exhaust. I'm sure we'll get some photos and put them all up at the bike meet. Pocket full of stickers to give away. Right, so we're going in there. Follow those bikes. And she done half pull down well on that front brake. Yep, all the little learners are here I spot a couple of <laughs> in fact I recognize that bike oh lo and behold look who it is <laughs> I thought I recognized the sight of an LXS so where are we all going I recognise a few faces here. I think we're all going to... Uh... How you doing? You alright? Yeah, good, good, good. Where are we all parking tonight? Uh, I'd say... Yeah, I'd probably go here, actually. <laughs> Unless they're all... I'm going to have a look down the bottom. They're all 
down here. <laughs> found them. <laughs> so we're at the bike meet, there we go. There's a few here already, all the boys are here, we'll have a look around. I spot an old face over there. <laughs> you can't miss him with a beer in his hand. Right, Let's, uh, we'll have a wander around with the camera. So uh, yeah, there's the bike meet, there's all the bikes and talking of the man to talk to, the guy, that be the guy. <laughs> oh, God, no, what? <laughs> you and him? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, no, I just met him on the gear. Oh, right. So, yeah, if you want to do CBTs in Milton Keynes, that's the man to talk to. We'll put the link up on the page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <you're> <laughs> right, anyway, I'll be signing out. We're going to uh, we'll go grab some food and I'll catch up with you guys in just a while. A few moments later. So, we're about to leave the bike meet. It's about half eight at night. Pilly partner's there. Hello, Pilly partner. <laughs> that's my Pilly partner, so uh, that's Kathy. Uh, Guy's there from Learn to Ride, so CBT in Milton Keynes, you can go and meet Guy. And Will is down the bottom there, he's about somewhere anyway. Right, we're going to get the GTR back to the garage. So let's uh, turn the tracker and the alarm off. And don't forget, Tomorrow night is the midweek mumble, Peaky Biker. Right, Ooh. red bomb. Oh look, Harley. <laughs> Got Harleys everywhere tonight. So first bike meet at Loughton. Guy from Learn to Ride, Pilly partner. See you later, guys. and we are off. So, let's head back to the garage, let's put the bike away, and then RB is off to uh, get Mrs. B a McDonald's. And then, with a bit of luck, I'm gonna go and jump in the hot tub and finish my night off. So, Wednesday night, tomorrow night, midweek mumble. Peaky Biker, he's got some good guests on again. So check that out. Friday night live stream with RB. Get the visor down. And engage. Nothing like a bit of speed coming out of the local bike, mate. Yeah, there we go. Right, take it easy, RB. It is decidedly dark tonight. Roll on the summer months where it's a bit lighter in the evening, we can have a few bike meets. But behave yourself, it's 60 mile an hour road I'll be. And hopefully next week I am in for eye surgery. Hooray! I will get rid of this uh, foggy left eye because I'm literally riding on one eye at the moment and bloody hell, bright lights in the eyes do not do well for me so my night vision is slightly affected. So I'm literally riding on one eye at the moment. At the moment I've been assessed last month and my left eye is down to 30% so I'm literally riding on one eye. If I shut my uh, if I shut my right eye and I'm not gonna do it but it's literally total fog it literally looks like I'm riding in blanket fog. So we'll get that cataract sorted out but obviously lights of bikes or cars coming towards me do affect my right eye so I have to be very very careful riding at night. During the day I'm fine night time I do suffer for night time driving it's the same when I'm in the car as well so I do struggle to see the road ahead but hopefully that's all going to be sorted on the 28th of this month when I have the assessment get my surgery done and we'll see how we get on but I am looking forward to getting out to obviously doing motor road weekend I can't do ABR but 
while bad I am so looking forward to catching up with uh, Carts Wheels, Peaky Biker and all the guys at the Wild Bad. That is going to be three nights of camping. Come on car, move your ass. Get out a bit of fun at Wild Bad and a long weekend away with the riding community. Which is one thing I do love. I do love getting out on a bike and just having a ride. Now, quick one for you, 7th of April. Get it in your diaries, guys. 7th of April. We are doing a bike meet down at the garage. 10 to 4. So we're going to have all the Lex Motor bikes out. And it's not about selling bikes. It's about a meet and greet. So we've got... Uh, all the TikTokers come in, we've got all the YouTubers come in. We are going to advertise the crap out of this. So watch out for a load of stuff on my pages. And we are going to get out and obviously advertise it to the max. But it's a meet and greet for all the bikers. Have a little bit of fun, come and join us. Jesus Christ, your lights are bright. So, 7th of April, down at the garage, Sunday. 10 till 4, come and meet all the YouTubers, TikTokers and have a little bit of fun with the guys from Eclipse Motorcycles. So, last thing for me to do is to take this back to the garage, Jesus Christ them potholes. Milton Keynes, the city of roundabouts and potholes. and literally everywhere you go there is a pothole. Now, there is a certain uh, painter that is going around Milton Keynes at the moment and he is painting penises around potholes and we have called him uh, Banksy but it begins with a W, I can't say the word. Who's bloody flashing here? Someone's flashing the red lights. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, a GTR will do 70 mile an hour in first gear. I've got my visor up because my visor is, uh, if visor down, it is uh, distorting my view of the road slightly. I love this bike. Would I ever sell the GTR? Absolutely bloody not. It does everything I want it to do. Right, we're back to the garage. I'm going to try and get this video up tonight. If not, it's going to be Wednesday morning, but it'll be up in time for the live stream for Peaky on Wednesday night. Had to be done. So, without further ado guys, whatever you're doing this weekend or week, have a good one, be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always, with a windy visor up, it's a big goodbye from me, catch you on the next one. <laughs>